Online, there's a lot of talk about submissiveness and a lot of women bristle at the thought of being submissive, but it's usually only because the guy is not worth following. The guy is not a leader. So today in this video, I want to talk to you about four signs that he is not a leader so you can run and run fast. Hi, my name is Yancy. Welcome to my channel, Chasing Yancy, where I explore all things love, dating, sex, and relationships. If this is the type of content you enjoy, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you're notified every time new content drops on my channel. But let's get into today's video. Four signs that he is not a leader. Sign number one, he is non-committal. All right, this is the type of guy who will give you his number and say, hey, you know, give me a call if you want. He's not committing to something specific. Now, a lot of guys have said that, well, we don't know if the woman is interested. We don't want to put ourselves out there like that. And that's true. Means he's not a leader. A leader will take charge and he will notice if the woman is giving him choosing signals, choosing signals like answering his calls, responding to his text messages. He does not expect the woman to take the lead. Because why? He's already doing it. He's a leader. Number two, a man who is not a leader will be extremely vague. We've all heard that guy say, you know, we ought to hang out sometime. We should get together sometime. One of these days, I'd like to see you. He's not committal. A leader will say, hey, are you free this Saturday? How about I pick you up at seven o'clock? Here's the dress code. Someone who is not a leader will like to leave things in the gray area. And it's pretty hard to follow when the directions aren't clear. Steer clear of a guy who's vague. Number three, third sign that he is not a leader, he's gonna use cheesy things like guilt tripping, saying things like, hey, where have you been? Or, hey, stranger, when he hasn't been doing the calling and pursuing. Again, a leader is going to be making his presence known. He's going to be stating his intention. I want to get to know you. I'm curious to see where this thing goes. I'm in a place in my life where I'm looking for something serious. He is not going to leave space for there to be a lull in communication. He's not going to be afraid to call back if he misses you the first time. He's not going to be afraid to take charge and keep making plans. So if the guy tries to shift the blame on you and say, well, the phone works two ways. A man who knows what he's all about, a man who knows what he's doing, does not need anything else but the woman going along with the plan. So do not let a man trick you into taking the lead, guilt tripping you, or making you think that you need to slide into the leadership position. Because as a feminine woman, you don't want to be the leader. You want to be submissive. So keep an eye out for this sign, number three. All right, so number four, last but not least, this guy is gonna be inconsistent. He's gonna talk all this talk. Remember, it's really vague. We ought to hang out sometime and we ought to do this. He's not gonna come through. His words and his actions do not match. We have to be very careful that we don't get caught up in what a man says because it costs nothing for a guy to just say a bunch of nice things. But you might look up and realize it's been all talk and it's been a couple of months. Make sure the guy is actually committing to what he's going to do in black and white language, and he actually follows up and does what he says. All right, so those are four ways that you know he is not a leader. Ladies, I know that it can be intimidating because there aren't a lot of guys who seem to be cut from the very masculine leader cloth, but this is why it's so important to do the work to have self-love, to have a relationship with God, because you do not want to have your hopes in a man. I'm doing my best to try to spread the world and what masculine energy looks like, but a lot of guys get defensive as it's coming from a woman. So for the men out there who say, I want to have more masculine energy, I want to be a leader, I strongly recommend that you find someone who you can look up to, somebody who is doing what you want to achieve, and ask them if you can shadow them, ask them if you can pick their brain, ask them if you can get some advice. Most people would be very, very flattered to have someone come up to them and say, hey, I really need a male role model in my life. Are you somebody who I can talk to from time to time? Ladies, as mentioned in my earlier video, you are the gatekeepers. It is absolutely imperative that you know what your standards are, you know what your deal breakers are, and you immediately disconnect from any man who shows that he is not worthy of your time. 
I hope this video has been helpful. If you haven't done so already, please smash the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscription button and don't forget to tap that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I drop new content. Also, please join my email list. You can find the link in the description below. That way you can be notified of upcoming events and special classes that are coming up. Until next time, tell someone that you love them.